Have you ever just popped some popcorn and you're like, man, this stuff really needs some more butter. So you get out the butter, you stick it in the microwave, get it out, and you pour it all over the top of your popcorn, you end up with a soggy mess. Don't say you've never done it. We've all done it one time in our lives. Or you get your butter out of the microwave, you look at it, it's still hot, so you wait and wait and wait, and then find out that it still made your popcorn soggy. Instead of going online and paying high prices for a gallon or wasting gas driving to your local store to get a 16 ounce bottle for $4, I'm going to show you how to make 48 ounces for two bucks and it won't make your popcorn soggy. Stay with me and you'll learn how. Daddy G Ville's World. What's up guys? Welcome back to Daddy Jeevil's Kitchen here on Daddy Jeevil's World. Today I'm going to show you how to make real homemade movie theater butter. Uh, you know, you, who goes to the movie theater and they get popcorn and they get tons of butter on it. I know I used to when we went to the theater, which has been forever. Uh, this is one thing my friend has showed me. They used to work at the movie theater because movie theaters is not real butter. It's actually oil flavored butter and uh he showed me a trick back then long before i met wanda and had kids and everything of how uh it was really made which was just made really of oil and it was butter flavored here but all you need is two sticks of butter some vegetable oil, oil or corn oil i use a little bit of sea salt you don't have to a cup a microwave a fork and the jar to put it in all right here we go now I'm just gonna take the butter whole sticks I'm making this for two dollars and it makes mm, probably four jars of this and uh, pretty good put the butter in there put this in here put my sea salt because I like a lot of sea salt down stick it in the microwave put it on one minute which I've already got it on there so it wouldn't take forever hit start let the butter melt once that butter melts you can get it out uh, take your jar right here put it over there now I would use a measuring cup to do this but I actually did this earlier wherever it's at it's over there in the dish drainer because I already made a bottle right here for my popcorn that I'm actually eating now but I use uh, it's about a half a cup and I pour it into here like so right there and then I just gotta wait for this timer to go off three quarters of it is melted so what we're going to do is we're going to stir it up a little bit. Now, you see, the oil, I've already got in here. Now, i got two sticks of butter here. I'm just going to pour the oil butter in here. And I always let mine sit at room temperature now when I first make it though I put it into the refrigerator to get it cooled down uh, a lot quicker if I'm going to use it right away uh, but the rest, any other time I leave it at room temperature right there, right there. Ooh, let's drop that and then it makes that much right almost right to the top and then uh, once it's all done I'll stick it in the refrigerator here Here's the finished product. It does separate with the oil on the bottom, the butter being the middle, and like a little milky color 
I guess for the male milk going in there. Just shake it up. Pop the lid off. Grab your butter, your popcorn. And there you go. Now it's time to watch your movie. All right, that's how you make real movie theater butter at home. So, hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below, share, like, everything. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a video. You're getting all hung up, all hung up on imaginary problems. You gotta focus on what's real, man.